Come on! Don't be close again. And there we go. Okay, finally. I must admit, this was definitely not the first attempt. <laughs> but here we go. 1,000 points have been reached on easy difficulty. Parachute Classic. A new version of Modern Ball was added. Go play it. Yeah, at the end of the episode, if you don't mind. <laughs> but that is apparently the gift for 45 stars. We get another new version of Modern Ball. And this one looks like to be W. Hmm. The Y was for Yoshi, the M was for Mario. What is going to be the W? <laughs> yeah, but we're going to play that one all the way at the end, if you don't mind. As you can see, classic 5 stars on easy. For a grand total of 12 on this minigame. Let's go see if we can make that 17. Let's immediately get started with... Modern easy. See you folks at the end. And let's catch you. <laughs> First try! There we go. We have also completed EC. And with 50 stars, we're going to unlock the credits. So, uh, two minutes in the video, we're going to watch the credits now. <laughs>
to be continued. Indeed, there's going to be a third part of Game & Watch Gallery. But even this episode is going to be too continued. <laughs> we also unlock another new title in the museum. So that's also uh, a good thing to check out immediately. We've gotten ourselves the view screen for Donkey Kong Jr. Releasing in 1982. A very classical game also. Not just Donkey Kong, but Donkey Kong Jr. also received a Game & Watch variant of their arcade game. You can kind of see how it works here on the view screen. It would have been nice if this game was actually uh, a secret unlockable. As extra content for the classic variant of Donkey Kong, but uh, unfortunately no. <laughs> but that indeed was Donkey Kong Jr. And the end credits of the game. But before closing off, I'd first like to continue getting my stars on easy mode. I've actually already decided not to continue with hard mode and uh, try to get more stars there. There's no real need to do so. I'm just going to finish off easy mode and then we'll see how many extra goodies we can still get. Let's continue with helmet. No misrun. Coming up. <laughs> 980. 90. One more time past the door. And there we go. And that is how easy. Easy mode of helmet is. I was able to get 1000 points before even getting my first miss. <laughs> but of course I'm not going to continue. Even longer. That is only going to waste a lot of time. We have 1,001 points on easy, giving us 5 extra stars. Next up, we're going to play Modern. For that one, I actually need to um, cover a bit more, because there's of course a third stage that appears after 1,000 points, which we also didn't see yet. So, allow me. There's actually going to be some new content in this minigame. <laughs> Alright, let's return with commentary here, after reaching 9.50. Like I've decided to do with the other mini games as well. Start off the recording at 950 points. But here it's going to be a bit more important. Because the moment we reach 1000 points. We don't just get the final star. Which we can obtain in this mini game. We will also go towards the final stage of the game. We haven't seen yet. Yeah, there is Toad. Let's enter. And find ourselves at the most difficult of all the stages here in Helmet. Where a couple of flumps are going to be uh, accompanied alongside a couple of lava bubbles. Yeah, and uh, mostly because I don't play this variant a whole lot, I'm not too uh, confident on all of the obstacles here. <laughs> that is no surprise. Oh, <laughs> there I go already. <laughs> yeah, uh, but we did see it uh, for a short, short moment, so you can kind of imagine how this one works. This one is uh, quite tricky to do in all honesty, but that is not a surprise. But that was the final stage of Helmet. There's no fourth one, so don't worry. This was the final one. Pretty difficult to do. But also enough for five more stars, putting our total at 63. And therefore unlocking another new display in the museum. And this one being Tropical Fish. A game from 1985. A bit later in the lifespan of Game Watch. But let's go see what this one actually is. Save the fish, and then return them to their tank. Okay, this one looks pretty interesting. Also one I've never heard of, in all honesty, before um, playing this game and seeing it here. <laughs> Apparently that was also a thing. Let's return to play game. Next up is going to be... Chef, of course. Third game, Chef. Oh. Oh. Come on. Uh. Nope. Oh. 
I don't like this game. <laughs> Please let it be over. <laughs> ah. I still need three more. <laughs> and there we go. Okay. Let's call it a day. I've been busy with this one for way too long. Also, uh, the whole reason why I've decided actually not to return to hard difficulty with some of these mini-games. On easy, this already took me multiple attempts. I don't feel like doing it again on hard, where it's even harder to do. <laughs> this is good enough for Chef Classic. And we got the secret for the game. Apparently on hard difficulty, I did not get far enough into this, so I never earned the secret for this game. <laughs> Let's go take a look. Chef Classic Secrets. On Classic Mode, when the food falls to the bottom, you still have a little time. Don't just wait patiently at the bottom. Yeah, that is also something I already talked about during the episode. The moment the food reaches the bottom of their drop, but hasn't fallen to the ground completely, you still have some time to get them back up. And that is definitely a big help. But anyway, um, we still need to do um, Modern, of course. But after this one... Taking so long, I think this is going to be the final one I'm going to do today. And I'll continue the recording tomorrow for the remaining mini-games. This is kind of wrecking me now. <laughs> but this one I can still do. Yeah, it's safe to say modern is a lot easier and also a lot more uh, easy to keep up. This one does not tire you out uh, that quickly. <laughs> Man, this minigame is so much fun. Oh, too early. <laughs> Not fair, making me fail that late in the game. <laughs> but anyway, we're so close to the end. There's no doubt I'm still going to make it. And there we go. 1,000 points. Let's go drop the food to the ground, because I don't care anymore. <laughs> it's been quite a long day. And I'm pretty sure with what I've recorded, I barely have enough for 10 minutes of an episode, so... <laughs> oh, we do still get another new title in the museum, so might as well also check that out. Received after 70 stars. We get the Game & Watch title Rain Shower, which released August 83, which is also a multi-screen title. Let's go see what this one actually entails. Rain Shower. Keep the wash from being rained on. Uh, normally, when it starts raining, you wouldn't uh, actually uh, put your clothes outside, but um, that's besides the point. <laughs> yeah, this also kind of looks like an interesting game. And unlike some of the others, this one I actually did hear about at some point. <laughs> this one is familiar. Man, it looks awesome. Classic heart, only one star. Rest five stars. <laughs> See you folks tomorrow. But the episode will continue, of course. I think we are ready for another no-miss run. Vermin on classics is just way too easy. Especially on easy. <laughs> you can wake me in the middle of the night for this. Not a problem. And there we go. First try. Didn't have to waste a whole lot of time here. Let's go do three deliberate fails quickly so we can... Scratch another minigame. At this point in the game we only unlock new things after every 10 stars, no longer after 5 stars, so... We are probably not going to receive anything now, because this is going to put us at 78. So we're not going to get something new. And therefore we immediately have the opportunity to continue towards modern. Let's see if this time around I can reach 1000 points. No, you don't. No, you don't. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> well, as long as you keep my uh, danger axe uh, alone, <laughs> I don't mind. <laughs> and there we go. All right. 
can destroy the egg now. Because I don't care anymore. 1007 points. Pretty difficult to do, even here on easy. Once again, it took me two tries in order to reach it. But eventually, I was able to do so. Now we unlock something new, of course, after reaching 80 stars. It's going to be another new title to the Gallery Corner Museum. 83. Man, we're getting somewhere now. <laughs> Let's go in once again. And this one is for Spitball Sparky. A game that released in 1984. A Super Color Game & Watch title. Yeah, and you thought the Game Boy Color was the first one to invent colors. <laughs> Spitball Sparky. This probably looks very familiar if you're familiar with uh, classical arcade games. Spitball Sparky is basically the Game Watch variant of uh, Arcanoid, you might say. Destroying some blocks, which are at the top of the screen. And you do that while bouncing a ball, making sure it does not reach the bottom of the screen. Even that made its way towards Game & Watch at some point. Next up, it's not going to be in the museum, of course. We're going to be playing Donkey Kong. Which is also part of the museum, I know, but... Uh, <laughs> we also need to play it here, in Game & Watch Gallery 2. Classic Easy, coming right up. Yeah, this is the kind of game where I feel if I really tried, I could also actually get 1000 points on hard difficulty. It was really my own fault for actually... Um, not paying attention properly during the episode. And because of that reason I feel I uh, died a bit sooner than I normally would have. <laughs> but I also don't feel like I have enough time to actually redo all of the hard um, variants again. This is good enough. Easy has been cleared at least. 1024 points. All with all, not that difficult. Bye. <laughs> Poor jump, man. <laughs> Even though it's Game & Watch, I still feel the character we're playing is Jumpman. Good old Mario. <laughs> oh, and last time I did not have enough points for the secret. So we still get it now. For this one, I'm not really sure what the game will actually tell us, so... I'm definitely interested. Let's go see what the Donkey Kong Classic Secret is. A miss is cleared at 300 points. But if you score 300 without a mistake, points are actually doubled until you do. Oh yeah. yeah. I did notice my points actually doubling at some point while playing through easy, but I was not sure why. <laughs> so thank you game for telling us. At 300 points without a miss, then you actually double your points. The score will actually start blinking and uh, everything is worth double. And that is the reason why it went so fast uh, at some point. <laughs> nice to know. But anyway, we also need to clear Donkey Kong on Modern. That is going to be a formality, I think. I was already able to do it on hard without any problems. So, let's go. Need one more, I think. Not even one more, I think. I'm going to reach 1000 before even uh, finishing the stage. Oh yeah, now that we're back with commentary, I can also talk about the paratroopers. My initial theory that the paratroopers might be hard exclusive is actually not true, as you can see. <laughs> they also appear on easy. Well, that much I can at least tell you now. But anyway, this is going to be the final one. We are done. 1,007 points. So, let's go game over ourselves. We are done here. Only one more minigame we need to do. Game over. High score, 1,007. Alright, apparently at 90 stars we also don't unlock anything. Interesting. It's getting harder and harder to actually unlock things. <laughs> but perhaps... We can actually get something at 100 stars. Our screen is filling up nicely, but there's still one minigame where there's a lot of empty spaces. 
We're going to play ball. Of course, on classic first. And this might actually take a while. <laughs> Yeah, I must admit, now that I've been playing this one for a while, this one's actually a whole lot of fun to do. <laughs> Especially now the balls are going this fast, and the fact that there's only two of them. It does make this minigame quite interesting, and a lot of fun to play. And plop! <laughs> I love how the 100 points actually always finish like that. <laughs> With both of the balls actually being on opposite ends of each other. <laughs> yeah, this one was a lot easier than I actually uh, thought it would be. First try, 1001 points. That was classic ball. Still unlock nothing. 98 stars we are at currently. But now we are going to enter a bit of um, new content. Because we are going to play ball on modern yet again. But as you may know, we now have um, access to a new variant of the game. And therefore also a new rule set of the game. Because that one actually makes use of different rule sets. I think I'm actually going to um, cover that one by trying hard mode again. To see if I can actually um, increase my score there. I'll play easy on one of the older variants. In order to ensure I can reach 1000 points there. So we're going to get started with the Yoshi variant. Yeah, in a similar way to Classic, the fact that there's only two items that we need to hold up does make this game a lot easier. And therefore instantly a whole lot more fun to do. <laughs> because this way it's um, actually pretty doable to keep up with um, everything you need to do. Just like in real life, juggling with two things is um, easy to do. But make it three, <laughs> and you won't have such a good time anymore. Let's go uh, fail, because we are done. 1041. My highest score so far in this game. <laughs> nice one, Yoshi. And after reaching 100 stars, we actually get another new version of Ball. Indeed, there's two new versions of Ball. <laughs> and not just one. In order to finish off the episode, I'm going to play both of them in order to attempt... Increasing my score on hard difficulty, because there are still a couple of uh, stars to earn. We are going to ignore the new K for now. We're first going to play on W. Let's go see how this one works. Hey, it's Wario! <laughs> I'm pretty sure you did not expect to find him in this game. <laughs> but indeed, the third version of Modern Ball is indeed Wario. Oh, and here we go. What they actually talked about last time. In this new rule set of ball, you will actually fling up one of the objects really high. Even going off screen. Making it really difficult to catch it. <laughs> because you clearly won't be able to see where it is coming. Yeah, this is uh, quite difficult. <laughs> Probably not the best idea to try to um, beat my score on hard in this rule set. <laughs> But hey, at least I get two chances, because there's also a K version. <laughs> I wonder what that is going to be. I'm also pretty sure that is actually the final new version of this game, so... You don't necessarily have to go for 120 stars in order to get everything in the game. I'm pretty sure the final couple of unlockables are just museum titles, and nothing uh, new gameplay-wise. So if I'm not able to actually increase my score on hard difficulty here, I think I'll just leave it with this. Well, Wario is so far doing a good job. He reached 200 already. And I'm also noticing there's no coin bonus in this um, new version. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that definitely makes it way more difficult to actually score a lot of points. The coin bonus you definitely need. <laughs> Let's go check out the final version, the K version. The K standing for Koopa, in fact. 
And we're playing as THE Koopa. <laughs> the king of the Koopas. Of course, for him, the same rule applies as with Wario. We also have one object that goes off screen completely. Making it really difficult to see where it will come. And hopefully Bowser here will actually have uh, a coin bonus. Otherwise, I'm pretty sure I can scratch the idea of still uh, trying to go for 1000 points here in uh, <laughs> Modern Heart. This might be the final minigame that I play here in this project. In fact, I'm pretty sure this is going to be the final one because, like I said, I'm not going to try to um, get the remaining couple of stars. In some mini games, that is uh, just not going to work out. And therefore, everything I'm missing, I'm just going to keep it like that. Let's see if we're able to get over 655, which I doubt, by the way. <laughs> oh, the boo even uh, stops in mid-air, I see. It doesn't always do it, but... Um... Yeah, oh, with all of this one is clearly the most difficult one. After passing 100 points, you can already see this one also does not give you a coin bonus, so... With some of the objects going off-screen occasionally, the boost stopping in mid-air sometimes, and um, no coin bonus after 100 points, this one is really tricky to do. Not for nothing, the finale of this game, you might say. <laughs> but anyway, thank you for watching Game of Watch Gallery 2. I'm going to leave it with this, everything that we're missing we're just going to have to keep on the rain check for now. <laughs> and I'll see you later in Game & Watch Gallery 3, which also released on the Game Boy Color. I was able to reach over 100 stars, so we did not do a bad job. Another fun little show-off of classical Game & Watch. Thank you all for watching, and see you in the next project. Treeks out.